Now to the right. That's good. No, my right. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. Okay. Oh, right driftwood. Right. So smooth. Nice inversion, Clarence. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew, that's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. And now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood... <laughs> ...to get to the tender stuff inside... <laughs> Then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath before he begins the deep carving. Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence! Bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Let's watch. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. All right, girls. Time for the... T Here she comes again. Halt! The dead-eyed god sees no one. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed. Up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution and you may enter the pyramid. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit with a pit inside.
died. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man, that's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. Such strange shapes in here. I wonder what that symbol means. There's that symbol again. It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. Guess this is where they buried their old god. tastes like death. Oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, god. Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for... 300 years? Huh. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. Uh, that's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into Chrysalation, to tell you the truth. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm going to need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Laruna was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops! Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. The bottom socket is empty. Uh, yes. You broke my amplifying quartz, remember? I'm going to replace it. I swear. 
The top socket is empty. Yeah, because you stole my laser coil, and you'd better put it back. <laughs>